We definitely need more. We do need more Carrie Uridine. Carrie Uridine is the only role that I ever went in and I just, um, I just went and I got it. I, I walked in to these guys and I said, wait, hold up. Let me sign. Let me actually do some work rather than just talking to you awesome people. Uh, so Carrie, um, I, uh, I walked in and I, I knew what it was based on the sides. I had read the sides and I was like, oh my God, this is cyberpunk. And I had played so much cyberpunk. It's over there on that side of the room. I had played so much cyberpunk 2020, um, that, uh, that, um, I, I knew everything about it. So I walked in and they were like, we'd like to tell you a little bit about the game. And I was like, no, let me tell you about the game. This is what it's on. This is what it's about. This is how many, this is who the characters are. This is the, I knew the entire plot. And they were like, wait, well, what? Did something leak? What is going on? How do you know this stuff? And I was like, nah, nah, nah. The, the last adventure in the Cyberpunk 2020 book tells all of this and it's sort of adjacent to the adventure that you're choosing and this is why and this is uh carrie this is um this is johnny silverham's girlfriend alton this is blah and they were like whoa so they loved that and i said and i just want to let you guys know something this is a game you're giving me a role in i don't care if i play little girl number four but i'm in cyberpunk and they were like, okay. And then I went in and I did uh, Carrie, and Carrie was just great because he's down here and he's just this roughneck who understands everything and he's seen it all. And you know what's even more funny? If you think about the timing of Cyberpunk 2077 and the fact that everybody now lives to 200, but Carrie is like 75 or so, like, Carrie's a millennial. I mean, he's, he's a millennial. So kind of weird. V, really? Millennials are the best? I'm Gen X. Come on, man. And because Carrie's a millennial, I'm going to write the number four and then ever. And then you'll understand that, like, because he's an anachronism. I don't know why I start writing in cursive as Carrie. I guess Carrie's cursive. It is a true love letter from me to Cyberpunk. Uh, Pond Smith and what he created back in the day gave me an infinite number of hours of fun. Uh, I even loved the system. I loved how it uh, was. And, and so uh, I, I built it uh, into, uh, in, into my, my portrayal of Carrie. And, and really to get to play, you know, Johnny, Johnny Silverhands, number one. Or actually, Johnny was my, Johnny was my singer, not the other way around. I always thought they had a, had a sort of um, like sting vibe. Vibe, right like staying as the lead singer and he's like that but you know they have this sort of like the police they were always really contentious so <laughs> could you write something cool and special see if Carrie was a smart ass, he would write cool and special. Um, but I, I won't do that. Uh, see, I think Carrie's a sentimentalist. Uh, I loved V. I loved the text messages that they added um, from Carrie to V. I felt like um, it resolved that that storyline. Although Carrie was a little tacky, um, but uh, yeah, I, I really. I really loved it. V. PG-13, of course. Of course. Uh, my main... <laughs> although, that ain't Carrie. It all down, Shum. That's what it is. Carrie believes in that. Pure anarchy. I love this, because... I just want to talk to you guys, and I think you're awesome. Dun, 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 dun.